listening to Good Morning Gwinnett, a division of Noise Media Network, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County and beyond. Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Southern Living at its best. Good morning, good morning, all my Gwinnishas out there in Gwinnett land and all of you around the world listen to the sound of my voice. It is a lovely day here in Gwinnett County, 65 degrees, going up to a lovely 73 today, so that's pretty nice. I woke up this morning and had a little bit of rain, um, but it wasn't that much, because at first I thought it was just some dew, but I was like, that's a lot of dew, so then I realized it wasn't dew, it was actually rain. But anyway, it only drizzled. Hopefully, it stayed pretty nice all day long. So that's a good thing. I know this weekend is supposed to be a wet Easter weekend, and so uh, you know, I know people are going to go to church. But for me, I'll be doing bedside Baptist on Sunday. Yes, I will. Yes, yes. I hate being in the rain, y'all. Just not something I like to do. I was supposed to be traveling this weekend, but then um, decided not to go. Just didn't feel like driving. I was going to go home. When I say home, I mean Albany. I was going to go home for the weekend. And it's crazy because my brother's like, yeah, uh, bring back some hot dogs. So anybody who's from Albany, everybody know what Jimmy Hot Dogs is. And so every time we hit the, every time we come off 300, that's our first stop, Jimmy Hot Dogs. I don't know. It's just, I don't know if it's, a, if, if it's the nostalgia of eating the hot dogs or if it's just the taste of the hot dogs. But I can tell you this, my nephew, um, had a hot dog for the first time, one of them, and he's in love with them. So whenever my brother goes to Albany or whenever we go to Albany, we got to bring, he he get like $30 worth of hot dogs and bring them back and put them in the freezer. The crazy thing about them is you can freeze them and they still taste good. Like I would freeze mine and he would freeze his and we would eat on them. Like, so when you feel like having a Jimmy hot dog, we can't get to Albany, just go to my uncle. We get all get like $20, $30 worth of hot dogs and put them in with the bread, the whole thing go in the freezer. It's crazy. I know, but Jimmy hot dog. I don't know if it's the nostalgia of eating the hot dogs or if it's actually the taste of the hot dog. Because I think part of it is, maybe it's a little bit of both. Because it's th- those hot dogs have such fun memories for me. I don't know if my brother remembers that, if he just liked the hot dogs. For me, it's a fun memory. It's a fun memory of my grandmother going to town on Monday, right? Paying the bills, because would, they would walk to town. They call it going to town. Even though, even though where she lived was considered Harlem. So where my grandmother lived, it was considered considered Harlem because right on that little block of the 210th block of Whitney there was this place called Dyes which was like a little little hole in the wall bar and there was another little bar across the street I think it was called Mr. C.A. or something Miss Jessie had a restaurant down listen I know this stuff because I used to I used to go down to Miss Jessie and get me a hamburger Miss Jessie had a restaurant down the street um and the barbershop was on the corner they had, there was a little store down the street and then on the other side of the street was the funeral home <laughs> Pote Funeral Home. I know. Everybody from Albany know what I'm talking about. And so we would go up and down the street to get us some uh, some, some food. And then on the other end of Whitney, going around, what's that street? I think that's, was that Washington Street? I can't remember what street that was. But it was a chicken chicken joint around the street. So you would go, go to one side to get you some chicken, go to Miss Jessie to get you a hamburger. And my grandmother, I remember one time, y'all, I'm going to get on with this. I remember one time I was a little girl. I'm, going, I'm never going to forget this either. Going, going. My grandmother sent me down to get her Coca Cola. Right, my great grandmother sent me to get her Coca Cola. Her name was we call her Maddie Bell, and um, Maddie Bell sent me to the store to get her. And this is exactly what I call my great grandmother, Maddie Bell. That's crazy now that I think about it. My 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 mother and them call their grandmother Mama. They call their mother Mama, and I call her Maddie Bell. And so anyway, Maddie Bell sent me to get her a Coke. Right, so back in the day, they had the little Coke bottles, the little short bottles. So I went to go get her a Coke, and as I was going to get her a Coke, this man came out of the little bar, um, Dies. I think it was called Dies. Came out of Dies, and he had one leg. And Miss Mary lived about, I think Miss Mary lived like two houses from the little bar. Miss Mary and them had the biggest house on the block. So Kathleen, Catherine, and Reginald, they live in the big house. They had a really, back then it was, to me, it was a big house. And I used to love to go down there because they had this enclosed porch. And they had this, it was like this really big porch and it was enclosed. And I used to go there and, and sit with Miss Mary. And, um... I don't even know if they all remember that stuff. I remember this stuff like it was yesterday. But anyway, I'm going to get my grandmother, my great grandmother, a soda. And um, when I get down to the little liquor store, the little bar called Dyes, Mr. Gene comes out the, out the bar. 
And so Mr. Gene walks out the bar. Mr. Gene has one leg. And I saw Mr. Gene and I went, I was, he scared me with that one leg. I went flying down the street, crying and howling. They didn't know what was wrong with me. So by the time I got back to my grandmother's house, they was like, what's the matter? And I, and I said, I saw the man with the one leg and it scared me to death, y'all. And so they was like, that's okay. That's just Gene. He all right. He just got one leg. Oh my God. That scared me to death. I'll never forget that story. But anyway, that's my growing up back in the day. I, I love all Benny, so whenever I get a chance to go, I go. But I just didn't feel like driving this weekend. And neither did Dominique. And my brother's moving because he he closes on his house tomorrow. So he didn't he wasn't there to drive. My husband never likes to drive, so you know, he doesn't want to drive. He don't care. We don't go at all. He's like, Yeah, you going? I don't know. Y'all probably could leave me home. My brother, on the other hand, don't mind driving. Like he would drive all the way there and all the way back, which is cool. We like to go with him because you know, he's going to drive everywhere. Even when we get there, he's going to drive around. Like when, when the three of us went together, my brother, um, my daughter and the baby, we all went together. My brother drove everywhere. Like all I had to do was just jump in the car and ride, which was pretty refreshing because that don't happen very often for me. I'm normally always driving, but he would drive. He drive the whole way there, the whole way back. And the whole time we're there, he driving and talking. So, so he, but he wanted to go, but he has to move. So I said, okay, well, well next time maybe he can go. Cause I know my Dominique was like, yeah, cause on candy would have driven. Yeah. He would have drove us. All right. Let's get on with this today. Today is Thursday, April the 14th. Yes, yes, yes. It is my Friday. Yes. I know it's not Friday. It's my Friday because I'm not broadcasting today after today. So tomorrow I'm off from broadcasting, not off, but off from broadcasting to you guys. And I, I, it's my Friday for you, not for just not for business. Friday is just Friday in my regular life, but when it comes to the show, I'm off. All right. So today is uh, April the fourteenth, Thursday, April the fourteenth. This is International Lava Bread Day. Don't know what lava bread is. Somebody knows what lava bread is because they put it on the international calendar. National Lava Bread Day. It's National Look Up at the Sky Day. So when you get a minute, go outside, look up at the sky, sit with the sky for a couple of, for a couple of minutes. It's National Dolphin Day. Now, now this is interesting, y'all. National Ex Spouse Day. Now here's the thing. Let me just say that because somebody's gonna feel nostalgic about their ex. Your ex is an ex for a reason. So yes, it's National Ex Spouse Day. You want to pick up the phone and say, "Hey, you know it's National Ex Spouse Day." Don't do that. Your ex is an ex for a reason. So don't go calling the ex because you're having a moment of nostalgia. I'm like, hey, it's National Ex Spouse Day. It's National Gardening Day. It's National Pan American Day. It's National. Now listen, I say pecan. Some people say pecan, but me is pecan. It's National Pecan Day. I've been saying pecan my whole life. Someone said, you say pecan, it's pecan. It depends on who, potato, potato, tomato, tomato. It's pecan for me. So it's National Pecan Day. Look, I'm from Georgia. And we got pecan trees everywhere. So it's pecan day. National Pecan Day. I love pecans, by the way. Yes, I do. Nothing like a roasted pecan with a little bit of butter in the oven and some salt. Listen, you got to try this. It's a good snack too. Especially if you're on a keto diet. That's how I used to get them. I, I was on a keto diet. And I have these cravings at night. I would make me a little bit of pecan, pecans with some, a little bit of butter and some salt. Yes, a good snack. Yes, good for keto diet. Um, National Reach As High As You Can Day. Listen, go for the gold, baby. Reach as high as you can. Go for the gold. All right, today, is, uh, today I have a guest. So this show is split up into two segments today. So the first segment, I'm going to give you some news after I do your horoscopes. And then I'm going to give you, I got a guest coming on. So I got a guest, a live video guest coming on at 1030. So make sure to go to goodmorninggwinnett.com so you can watch the live show there. Listen, click on the three little bars if you on your phone or something and click on watch live at 1030. You can watch the whole interview live. My guest today is Robert Plank. He's going to be talking about how to write a book in 12 hours. Yes, that's what I said, 12 hours. I've written seven books. I've never written one in 12 hours. However, I need to write a new book that's on my, so my all the notes are on my, on my tablet and I have not started not one page just yet. So... If you know you got a book inside of you, you don't want to miss this episode at 1030 where Robert's going to share his his secret, because I'm sure it's a secret because I haven't heard about it, his secret to, to writing a book in 12 hours, okay? So listen, the way to watch this episode is to go to goodmorninggwinnett.com, click on the tab to say watch live, and you can watch it live. So I'm going to end this portion at 10, about 1025, I'm going to end this part of the show. 
then I'm going to jump on over to the video part. Now, here's the thing. If you're at work and you cannot watch the video, the, the, the live video interview, don't worry because it's going to be court recorded and you can go back and watch it later and that's going to be on the spotlight. Okay, so it's going to be recorded and later on you can go back and watch it. Go back to goodmorninggwinnett.com, click on the spotlight and it's going to be on the spotlight page. Okay, so that's that's what I want you to know. But anyway, two-part show today. All right, let's get on with these horoscopes brought to you by Nota Destroyer and Michael Thompson for today, April 14th. It's Thursday. We're going to kick it off like we always do, and that is with Aries. Don't try to get even without giving, without having all the facts. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Do not reveal personal information to those you feel may be untrustworthy. That's a lot in there for you, Aries. One, um, don't try to get even at all. Let me just say that. I know they said don't try to get even without the facts. Don't waste your energy trying to get even. Get the facts and then learn who you're dealing with. I got the facts. Now I know how to deal with you. That's all. Don't worry about it because here's the thing. They will come around again and they will need you again. So don't waste your energy on trying to get even because that junk could backfire in your face. Take that information, understand who you're dealing with and move forward. When they come back around, your answer will be no. It's that simple. Nah, I'm not going to be able to do that. Because in your mind, you locked in your mind. That's what they did last time. I got all the facts. I did not try to get even. I moved on. But I know who you are because I see you. You showed me who you are. So just, just do it that way. I wouldn't say waste energy trying to get even. That's a waste of energy. In the meantime, don't count your chickens before they hatch. If it ain't in your hand, I don't count it. If, if it's not in my hand, I, I can't count that. I, if I can, nah, I don't count it. I don't count it. Right? And keep your business to yourself. Because people, once you tell people, it's out there. And the person that, that person you may think, I can trust them. No, you can't. Not today. So don't reveal personal information to those when you know they don't hold. They can't hold. They're like a Lisa leaky faucet. Everything that goes in comes out. Don't tell that person. You think they won't tell your business? If they tell everybody else's business, they're going to tell yours. So keep it to yourself. I'm just saying. Taurus, travel for pleasure will be enticing. Don't let your emotions interfere with money-making deals. Take a different approach. Make an offer they just can't refuse. All right, now listen. Here's here's the thing. I want you to make an offer that that that, that they just cannot refuse. Here is the deal, though. You need to be de- you need to be able to deliver on that offer. Don't make a bogus offer that they just can't refuse, and then you can't deliver. Okay, Tars. That's just that's all I got to say on that one. Make them that offer that they did that they just cannot refuse, but you need to be able to deliver on that offer. I'm just saying, Gemini, try not to say the wrong thing at the wrong time. You can meet potential new mates if you socialize with friends. Stay away from social unpleasantness. Oh, I don't know what that is. I guess that's somebody that's really talking and doing some crazy stuff. If you feel like it's unpleasant, back away. Back away, back away, back away. Okay? Okay. Cancer, your relationship appears to be stressed out and depleted. Problems on the home front may might be a little disconcerting renovations to your domestic scene will pay high rewards all right your relationship is yeah it's stressed out and depleted here's the thing here's the thing cancer take a minute for yourself matter of fact take two take a couple minutes yes that relationship is stressed out and yes it's depleted but here's the thing you don't have to stay there if you know it's not working then move on don't spend all your time trying to fix something that can't be fixed if you if you know you've given it all you got then move on (laughs) That's all. Leo, be diplomatic about STEM when it comes to giving of yourself. Yeah, your mate will enjoy helping out. You can ask for favors and get sound advice from close friends and relatives. Yeah, um, ask for favors. Yeah, yeah, you know, you can. You can today. It's a, it's, it's a great way. Now, I'm not telling you to ask for money, especially if you know you can't pay it back, but you can ask for a favor. All right, all right. Virgo, make sure that you have all the pertinent facts before taking action. You will reap the rewards for your kind actions. You will find that joint ventures could easily turn out to be a dead-end project. All right, listen. Your actions have not gone unnoticed, Virgo. You're going to reap the rewards for your kind actions. A lot of Virgos I know have a kind heart. They just so they so temperamental about everything. Everything hurts their feelings. But on the flip side of that, they are pretty nice people. Some of my favorite people are Virgos. Yep, sure are. All right, I'm going to a song. I'll be right back after the song to give you more of the horoscopes brought to you by Noto Destroyer, Micah Thighs, and stay tuned.
welcome back. It's your girl, Audrey Bell Kearney, bringing you the horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrologer Michael Thoughts. We're going to pick it up with Libra. You may find it impossible to get the rest you require. Set a limit on the amount you are willing to spend and be sure to stick to it. You will earn recognition for the work you are doing. All right, you're going to have to set that limit. You have to stick to it. That's not like me and my diet, right? So, oh, so I get up and I get on the scale this one. I'm like, oh, God, another pound. So I'm going backwards. I'm going backwards. But I was like, okay, Audrey, you could do this. You've done it before. You can do it again. You got 35 pounds you want to lose. Focus. Focus. So I, I got to focus. I know setting that limit and sticking to it is very hard, Libra, but you can do it. I'm, I'm your cheerleader like I'm cheering myself today. I cheer you. I cheer myself. You can do it. And don't worry. The work that you've been doing, people are watching. So it's not going unnoticed. Just know that. Scorpio, you mustn't be so trusting. New methods and innovative technology will take will make your job fat, far easier than you anticipated. If you can, try to work out of your home today. Yeah. Listen, stop being so trusting. I know you want to trust everybody. That's why you get your feelings hurt. I'm not saying not to trust anybody. Just be selective in the people you trust until you get to know those people and know their characters. You know what I'm saying, Scorpio? Like You can't just trust people right off the bat all willy-nilly because you don't know who they are. So give your time some time, give yourself some time to learn that person and know about them before you dump all your trust in them. Sagittarius, discuss your objectives with peers or lovers. You will be emotional um, with regard to your personal life. Talking to those you trust and respect will help you sort out any problems. Yeah, talk to somebody. You got a problem, talk to somebody that you trust. Not just anybody. Talk to the right people. You know who they are. You know who the right people are. Talk to those people. Capricorn, Escapist tendencies may lead to overindulgence. You can develop your creative talents if you take time to practice your art. Don't trust others with private information that could be used against you. Listen, keep your business to yourself. I know you think they're your friend. They're not. Smile in your face all the time. They want to take your place. Them backstabbers. Backstabbers. Listen. They're smiling in your face all the time. For real, they won't take your place. And they're going to take that information that you share with them and use it against you. So don't share it. I'm just saying, Capricorn, don't be so hard-headed. Aquarius, take your time and try not to overload yourself. Do not confront situations unless you are sure you have a good understanding of the dilemma. Invite friends over rather than spending money on lavish entertainment. Here's what I would say, Aquarius. If it don't concern you, don't get involved at all. That's all I'm going to say. If, if it does not concern you, then just don't get involved. It's, it's none of your business. None of your, yeah, that's, that's country, right? None of your business. With So what does that mean? None of your, but you know, we cut all the words up. None of, none of your business. All right, last but not least, my fellow fish Pisces, be careful not to overexert yourself. Don't overspend on entertainment on children or make poor investments express your interest if you want the relationship to progress all right listen fish we need to do not overspend on nothing nothing today relax don't even overexert yourself don't overexpend your don't overspend your time you just need to lay down chill out relax keep your money in your wallet don't go out there trying to be do all this entertainment right in the meantime focus on the relationship express yourself if you want that relationship to progress not that means you got to open your mouth. That means you cannot sit back and not say anything. All right? All right, so that's all the horoscopes I got for you. I'll be back again on Monday at 10 a.m. to bring you more of the horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrology, Micah Thoughts. And now let's get on to some news you can use. Now remember, it's a two-part show today. This is a live stream audio uh, version of the show, which will end in about four minutes. And then we're going to do the live video part of the show, which starts at 1030. So go to goodmorninggwinnett.com to watch the live video portion of the show where I'm going to be interviewing Robert Plank. He's going to tell us how to write a, how to write a book in 12 hours. Yes, that's what I said, 12 hours. If you want to know how to write a book in 12 hours, you want to listen to this episode, go to goodmorninggwinnett.com. Click on watch live at 1030 and you can watch the interview live. Okay. Okay. All right, let's get on to some news you can use. So uh, Comcast is looking for 300 virtual workers. Yep, they need somebody, they need workers to work as sales representatives. Um, the company, the Philadelphia-based company needs inbound sales representatives in South Georgia, South Carolina, in Georgia, South Carolina, and Alabama. So they're looking to fill 50, 300 spots. Yeah, 300. They also need 50 representatives who speak Spanish and English fluently. 
So if you know somebody in need of a job, they can go to ComcastCareers.com. ComcastCareers.com. So listen, don't say you can't get a job. Go on over there and get the job. They're looking for you. They are looking for you for that job. Um, this There's a young lady, and I got to get this story because I want to make sure that um, I get this story out. So there's a young lady. Her name is Faith Mashita. And Faith Machida is a violinist. She's 14 years old. She's a violinist. And she says, I'm not only passionate about performing classical music, but she also wants to help create opportunities for other black classical musicians. Um, there are so few of us in this particular space, right? We're in rap and, and R&B and all that. We, now, now we're even in country, which is pretty cool. And I like, I like some country music. There are some country music that I actually like. But anyway... Um, she goes to Central Gwinnell High School and she is an accomplished violinist. She has, um, recently Faith was offered admission to Brevard Music Center's 2022 High School Orchestr Orchestral Institute in North Carolina, which is a prestigious, a prestigious six and a half week summer program for classical instrumentalists. She was granted a partial scholarship, but still has over $4,000 to pay out of pocket. So she launched a GoFundMe and she needs your help. So I put a link in the description of this show so that you can go and support Faith. Um, click on that link and you can go to her for GoFundMe page to help her raise the additional $4,000 she needs so she can go to Brevard. Brevard Music Music Centers. This is like, listen, this is one of the creme de la creme programs and we want her to go. So if you want to support Faith and help her to become a even better classical musician, um, please go to her page and support it. In the link at the bottom of, go to the, go to the description of this show. Scroll to the bottom. I should have put the link up top. Scroll to the bottom and you will see, click here to support faith and use the hashtag support faith and share with your friends and family. She still needs to raise four, $4,000 so she can go to this music program this summer. It's a six week, six and a half week program. She's already an accomplished violinist. Now we need her to get better, get better and better and better. But we also need her to set, set the stage for other, um, young blacks in, in this space, because we need, they need to know that they can get here too. And faith is one of the leaders in this space right now. So support faith, go to the description her name is Faith, Faith um, Mashida, M-E-S-H-I-D-A. So if you can't go to the link in the description of the show, her name is Faith Mashida. She's at Central Gwinnett High School. If you want to talk to someone at Central Gwinnett, call a high school. If you want to support Faith and you want to give her a check or some kind of donation, call a high school and find out how you can do that. Otherwise, you can go to GoFundMe and type up her name, Faith Mashida, M-E-S-H-I-D-A, M-E-S-H-I-D-A, Faith Mashida. She's at Central Gwinnell High School in Lawrenceville, and she has been offered a spot at Brevard Music Center's 2022 High School Orchestral Institute in North Carolina this summer. But she needs your support. She's $4,000 short of her goal. So support Faith, y'all. Hashtag support Faith. Let her get on over to Brevard. I think that's pretty darn cool. I mean, she is just, oh, that's amazing. I just love it. All right, listen, that ends this part of the show. I'm going to give you my word of inspiration, and I'm going to close it out because I got to go over to the other part of the show. <clears throat> but I got to give you my word of inspiration for the day. So here goes the word of inspiration. It says, history remembers the dreams that become reality. Ah, let me say it again. History remembers the dreams that become reality. Reese Quinn said that, and, and, and I don't know if it was Reese, a woman or a, a guy, but they were absolutely right. History remembers dreams that became reality. So what would, what would history say about you? Did you have a dream that became reality? One thing I always say is, if I kick the bucket today, I think I've left something back here. First of all, I got about 800 episodes of this show, right? I'm an inventor, I'm an author, but I got much, I feel like I have, I still have a lot to do. But history will remember that Audrey Bell Kearney and Georgette Taylor invented the first plus size fashion dolls. You know why? Because it's out there for the world to know. All right, so listen, that's all I got for you on this segment. Be sure to go to the next segment. Go to goodmorninggwinnett.com to watch the, the, the video interview with me and Robert Plank in about three minutes. Um, listen, y'all stay safe out there. I'll be back again on Monday at 10 a.m., God willing. Until next time, my friends, until next time, make it a great day. Bye, y'all. <laughs> You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you like this episode, subscribe now and share with your friends. To learn more about Noise Media Network, visit noisemedia.us.